Hi, we're here today to talk about the North Face Ultra MP Gore-Tex Winter Running Shoe. So I love these shoes. Um, I thought they were really, really lightweight, um, but they still had a lot of really good stability. Um, the traction's amazing. I was flying up hills, stable down hills. All around, I think it was a really, really nice shoe. Yeah, I like the traction. I also really liked how when you're going uphill and downhill and flat, I didn't feel a big difference. Yeah. Whereas other shoes, sometimes you feel unstable either going up or on flat ground. So the traction I thought was really amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'll agree with you guys on that. The one thing I found, found about the shoe though, it was really firm and it took a long time to actually break in yeah. and to get comfortable. Um, I, I, would, I would say it was around like 30 to 40K before I actually started to feel really comfortable running in the shoe where it stopped hurting my heels. I think what it was for me is that I felt safe in them. Mm -hmm. Whereas normally when you're running in just like a regular shoe, the regular runner in the winter time, a little insecure, right? It can get slippery, you never know where you're gonna step, especially if you're running in the dark. Um, so I just, I guess I had more confidence running in them just because I felt the grip was so good yeah. that even if I accidentally stepped on a patch of ice, um, you know, I'd be relatively safe. I didn't have to worry as much and overthink, you know, where I was putting my foot. So I think, yeah, I agree where it was, it was a little, I guess, more bulky than say like a Nike Free, uh, but for, you know, the conditions, especially on the mountain, um, definitely a job and it made me a more confident runner in the winter and in uh, you know icy or snowy conditions. Yeah my feet tend to curve inwards so I found that I need something that has a lot of support and I found that my foot was stable the entire time I never felt any weird instability issues so I didn't mind the weight I thought they were a little bit heavier than other winter models I've had before but they're still lighter than like a Brooks for example. Yeah. What's good about sort of where we live is that you have like, and the time of season is you have the dry, you had yeah. flat, yeah. Um, you had trails, you had hills, you had um, that snowy weather, that ice. It was so. We're so I found that I was able to test them in in all conditions. I know you said that you felt like you were moving quite quickly in the shoe. Um, I did find that there was a certain clunkiness to them. Um, they were comfortable and like I was confident running far in them, um, but I still found that the shoe was just a little bit clunky for me. And I think that has to do more of the firmness of the shoe. And like for winter, they're so warm. Uh, they're waterproof, you can send puddles. I was actually trying to find puddles too, to like splash around and just to test them out. Really submerged, like yeah. all the way from the top to the bottom of the shoe. Like on those deep puddles, so yeah. I think that these are good for someone that's consistently running. If someone is doing a lot of kilometers, they can break these in in a shorter amount of time, which will make allow them to be comfortable and they can still uh, have all the performance features of these. I think that these are great on trail. They're great in, with traction. So I think for anyone that's running a lot and also running in like crazy weather like we have here, like warm, cold, icy, snowy, you know, like I, I, I would recommend them. Yeah. yeah. If there isn't anything on the ground, if it's just pavement, I feel like I'm wearing away at those tracks. Mm -hmm. So it'd be less useful for those days that you actually need them. So I'd always suggest that it'd be on something unstable, like whether it be snow, whether it be trail, whether it be yeah. ice, that sort of thing. And, and again, I think that comes back to the question of are you buying this shoe for your winter running? Um, if you're running mostly hills and trails, yes it's a good investment but if you're a city runner and you're running sort of one out of four times a week um it, i don't know if you're getting sort of the value for your money yeah um, if, if it's just one of the shoes that you're running in yeah. hi we're here to talk about the north face ultra mp gore-tex winter running shoe uh ran about 50k in this bad boy worth every kilometer. <laughs> 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 <laughs>